in for Ashley Nelson on the last leg. That's a good team for England, who qualified second fastest for this final. So, Tony Amasam will have the responsibility. They were the fastest qualifiers, the Nigerians. There's Favour O'Philly, herself having a good Commonwealth Games here. She'll go down the back straight. Rosemi Chukwuma will go around the top bend. And Ocha will go on the final leg for Nigeria. There's the Australian team. They'll start in lane number eight. Connolly to Masters. Just into Beecher. And Anang will be on the final leg for Australia. They qualified third fastest. And the swaying hips of the Trinidad and Tobago team will start in two. That was St. Fort on the first leg. The familiar figure of Michelle Lee, i.e., will go down the back straight. Prito around the top bend in the sunshine. And Bertrand will be on the final leg for them. There she is. Ready and poised to hopefully receive the baton in this women's 4 by 100 metre final. So our final event on the track of this last day of action here in Birmingham is the women's 4 by 100 metre relay final. The crowd absolutely buzzing, Steph, from that win for England. And now we're going back again onto the track for the English team to try and do it again. But we've just seen some of the athletes in the teams here. It's a tough ask, especially when you bring in Thompson here. Well, it's interesting. I love it when you get to the final and they, as you say, they bring in their heavy hitters. And so no matter <laughs> what we saw in the heats, we don't actually know what's going to happen in the final. And as we've just seen, you've got to get the baton to those on the later legs. Here we go then. Confirmation, the full start list for the women's 4 by 100 metre relay final. The fastest qualifiers, Nigeria in four. The defending champions, England in five. And never, ever write off the Jamaican sprint relay team. In lane nine, then Scotland, Matheson, Rees, Malone and Spence qualified 8 for this 4 by 100 metre final. Australia, third fastest in qualifying, starting lane number eight. Connolly, Masters, Beecher and Ang. India, starting lane number seven. We really are having a great Commonwealth Games. That triple jump goal by Paul just a few moments ago. Chand, Das, Nanda, Yaraji. And then there'll be a roar for Jamaica in six. Their nation holds the game's record. Silver in 2018 behind England. Hemba Nelson is ready. Lane five. The team from England. Second fastest in qualifying, Ashley Phillips in that World Championship squad just a few weeks ago, leading them off. Nigeria in lane number four, bronze in 2018. Amisam O'Philly, the first two legs for them. Lane number three will be Ghana. Sixth fastest to qualify for this final. So, okay, Ali, Oka, and four running for them. And there's your lineup for Trinidad and Tobago in lane two. Inside 43 and a half seconds to qualify St. Fort, i.e., Prito and Bertrand. So, a super men's 4 by 100 metre relay. And now, our final action. Can England defend the title they won in 2018? Beating Jamaica by six one hundredths of a second on that occasion. I remember long jumper Lorraine Ugan bringing the baton home for the English side. Trinidad and Tobago in two, Ghana in three, Nigeria in four, England in five, Jamaica in six, India in seven, Australia in eight, and Scotland in nine. Set. The women's sprint relay for. <laughs> It's a clean start as well. Amazan getting out nicely in lane number four, as expected. India going well in lane number seven. Australia in lane number eight, too. This is good running by Nigeria in lane number four. All look pretty safe on the changeovers. Imani Lansico flying down the back straight, as is Favoro Philly of Nigeria. Second changeover, hands held high. Australia on the outside in lane eight going well. Nigeria, though. Flying round with Chuck Wuma on the third leg. Hands back for the Nigerians. A roar from her teammates. Nigeria going to take this one. Even with Darren 
to the second. Keep an eye on Thompson here. That the Jamaican superstar comes through for bronze for the Jamaican side. But 42.10 seconds, just outside the game's record. But that was brilliant from Nigeria. Absolutely superb. The quartet was fast. Toby Amusan was brought in. And she got the team off to an absolute flyer. Eight are area record. Yes, indeed, Nigeria. You are the Commonwealth champions. England pick up the silver and Jamaica the bronze. We've been saying all week how amazing the performances from the Nigerian women have been, both on the field and now in the sprints. And I was actually reading a quote by Favor Ophili, and she was talking about what the difference is. And she said, the difference is we now believe in ourselves. We believe we can compete with the rest of the world. And I think that performance by their relay team just highlights the mentality that is going through that team right now. Yeah, it's a national record, so you can't do any more than that. The Nigerians confirmed as the gold medal winners. England in second with Philip Lantico, Williams and Nita. And the flags are being draped by the Nigerian team. And Elaine Thompson here on the final leg passing the Australian, passing Anang on the last leg for them. Anang would have known that the fastest woman alive was going to bear down on her. And Jamaica there confirmed with the bronze medal, a third medal for Elaine Thompson here at these Commonwealth Games. But what a wonderful send-off on our final morning session here. And understand what you say, Steph, look at the Nigerian team. Absolutely buoyed with talent and buoyed with speed. And not just speed. I think to run that 100 meters, like, it's not just about speed. It's about that discipline and making sure that the baton gets around. And I think that really was what made the difference here, particularly for the Jamaicans who didn't always have the best exchanges. It was almost like England after the first exchange and then the second exchange. That's when they kept making up their ground. Australia were flying at this point. Fair play to the Australians. They were the third fastest qualifiers there. Haven't got the raw speed, as you say, Steph, like the English team or the Jamaican team. But that was a really, really good run by the Australians there on the left of the shot. But keep an eye on Thompson here. Daryl Nita would have known the four, five metre deficit was not going to be clawed back with the flying Nigerian. But Thompson here in the final few strides picks up the bronze for Jamaica. But in the sunshine, a very good run and a deserved run with <laughs> the shout and the scream from Rosemary Chuck Woober. Absolutely brilliant. Her bend, by the way, Chuck Woomba, was absolutely sensational. That was where a big part of that lead came from. She stormed that second bend. They are such a good team, the Nigerians. And isn't it interesting that it's the women's team from Nigeria who've been on fire here in Birmingham. I think that's quite significant for African sport, not just athletics, but for African sport per se. The Nigerian women performing brilliantly. And watch this third leg round the bend step from Chuck Wumba. It was sensational. Bend running is really different from running in a straight line. And you can see that she was having to almost veer to the outside of her lane just to control that speed and then really came in to make sure there was nothing that was going to go wrong with that final exchange. Well, it didn't. Nothing went wrong with either the first, second or third changeovers for the Nigerians. <laughs> the third leg runner, Rosemary Chuck Woomer there. Still crossing the line and slowing down. Here's a... ISO, the shout by the incoming athlete. You shouldn't look back when you're the outgoing runner. You, you, you see the mark being hit by the incoming runner and you set off until you are told to put your hand back. That's what the outgoing runners did. In the super last event, seven medals the Nigerian women have picked up here. Eight for the Nigerian team in total. That good feeling, Steph, when you know you're on the way. Now, I love this ground there. <laughs> but I love this shot because Elaine Thompson Hara isn't even in it right now. And I feel like I've been fangirling her all week. But to get the baton as far down as she was and still come out and know she can get that bronze, uh, I mean, just what an amazing performance for her who's already spent so much time out on this track. 
confirmation then of the women's 4 by 100 metre relay. That area record for Nigeria. Brilliant. 42.10 seconds. England on this occasion, unlike four years ago, they pick up the silver with 42.41. And Jamaica pick up the bronze. Great performance there from the Nigerians.